Good afternoon. Look at this day is starting with a stroll. With a stroll. Um, it's one in the afternoon. Later start to the day. Different plans than we really expected today. Yes. More so, not because of how I felt. I feel great now after I woke up, but more because of that chicky bird. Here's where we're starting our afternoon day out and about. Oh, look at there's a sailboat. So it's a little cold by the little cold breeze coming in off the lake. But look at that, wait, look at that sailboat. Oh. We've never seen like a sailboat leave or enter like a harbor like this. We've always seen there's a bunch more. See that oh, there's a pad out there? Yeah. Doing like racing or something. What's so cool is that we haven't experienced spring in a long time and I feel like this is like another sign of spring. Like yeah. boats out. The green coming back. And I feel like Chicago is going to like liven up in a whole different world with like vaccine distribution expanding, right. with spring coming. Yeah. But like we, we did move into to Chicago like at the end of like a polar vortex. Right. And a severe lockdown compared yeah. to Florida. So I think a lot of things are going to start opening up. There's a kayak rental over here, which I think I've shown on one of my runs that I want to check that out. But we are taking Eve to the lakefront. She's not feeling good. She was uh, having a belly issue. Yeah. We were supposed to go meet up with the Earharts because they were visiting family. Surprise! Yeah, we were supposed to surprise you guys and have lunch with them. Yeah. But we had to bail. Yeah. We just could not leave her alone. Or like, we're not. Happens sometimes. We're not concerned anything's too wrong. We think she just ate too much or ate something weird. Yeah. But we don't want to leave her alone. Right. So, it's a local Sunday. So here's a piece of Belmont Harbor. So we never walked by. That's like where we were a minute ago on that side. Eve is getting suspiciously too close to the edge there. But we got some boats heading out. I think they're going to like just practice. Yeah, but like that's a drop off, not like Lake Eola though. James e. boy fell asleep. We got some popcorn to have a snack once we get settled somewhere over there. dropping and there's like high school teams out there racing these sailboats crazy whole different world that I didn't know existed and oh that's a cute dog over there but look at the, the skyline has emerged from the fog and the clouds and we just got here and I'm pretty certain she's zonked she did so good she did the idea was to get to the grassy area over here and just start running around and playing, but we may have to take a break first. So snuggly. I just diced up onion, asparagus, and some green pepper with some soy sauce, chili powder, garlic, salt, pepper. I'm going to make some peanut sauce now. So this peanut sauce is like one of my and Peter's favorite things ever. Um, I start with like four hefty spoonfuls of peanut butter. Um, I'm gonna add in some water. You cannot take out water, like you can only add more. So I really try to like not to put a ton of water you can always add like i said um but i feel like that's my biggest mistake is that like i'll, I'll douse it with too much water um but also what goes in here is soy sauce lemon juice the water um ginger 
red pepper flakes. Um, it's mostly soy sauce peanut butter. That's kind of what I like go back and forth. Like once I taste it, I kind of see like what else it needs more of. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And then I'm gonna put it over the noodles that I'm making with those veggies on the side, maybe mixed in. And then some like of that everything bagel seasoning on top. here. I had some that was going to go bad. And garlic powder. I had started with minced garlic. So here are our veggies. I made a quick salad with romaine lettuce, some basil, um, lime juice, and garden air. Our rice noodles are all strained. Dinner's ready. Alrighty, here's our dinner. Peanut noodles and yummy veggies. Got our salad. Got our baby. Whoa, look how big he is in this chair. Oh. Big day. Lauren made us some baby applesauce. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see, cause he's been reaching for a lot of food. Look at mama. Mister, look. What you think? Is that yummy? Yeah? <laughs> you like it? Oh, oh. Don't choke yourself. Don't choke yourself. Wow. <laughs> you got both my hands so good. You like that? Oh um, my god. Is that good? Jamesy boy. I think that was a success. I think so. I want to try. Yummy. Especially because the salads there just made that jar, there's a jar in there in it. Spunky. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, be careful, James. Okay. You're a hungry kid, huh? There you go. <laughs> I was thinking I was just like chew on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Has your life changed? He says, now bring me to Ohana. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you do when you have the major Sunday blues and you think your body fatigue is coming back from your vaccine? You put on your Frank Sinatra Ultimate Christmas record. You hang your new Walt Disney World transportation map. And you make your baby laugh. <laughs> Gosh, I'm cutting <laughs> This is turtle face. It's new from this morning. <laughs> Classic. All right, so I've got two of the posts up. I'm gonna hang it now, like unwrap it, because it's printed on the back of the acrylic, so you have to be careful not to scratch the back or else it'll get messed up. I'm gonna hang it from the top two posts and then use that to mark and hang the bottom two posts. Sometimes you just gotta say fooey and go out for your long run, even if it's later on a sunny than you expected. But that's what you do. You get out and you get the time on your feet in. I see something possibly very, very important. So down there is Navy Pier. Oh, there's a person standing. Okay, do you see that light right there? That is the Ferris wheel. The light in the center of the Ferris wheel is on. It hasn't been on this whole time, it's been closed. And I don't recall those lights at the end of the pier being on. And I saw a job fair being posted the other day for the spring and summer season for Navy Pier, but there's been no announcement date of when it's opening back up. I must investigate. Yeah. I'm a few miles closer, well, first of all. Beautiful skyline, second of all. It's not just the center light anymore. 
It's the whole kit and caboodle. And I'm gonna get even closer. I even see all the lights on by the parking garages. I don't think the gate's gonna be open, but you never know. You never do know those lights on. It's like the gates are opening. Basically the five mile mark of my run. Still have a bit more ways to go. It's perfectly timed that I could eat one of my goos here to check out Navy Pier because right at the front of it, looks like gates are still there, but I did just see three cars leave the parking lot and the lights lining those streets are, and you see the blue and red. Oh yeah, something's happening. I think I'm too close to see the center now. I'm gonna try to go over here and see. It says something in the center, because it's, it's a giant bunch of LEDs so they can make like messages. Come on, I'm just missing the center. Going further, oh, changing colors, yes. It's alive. Okay, here we go, I see a, looks like a T, O, to be. It says to be, and our main man, Shakespeare, is in the middle of the O in to be, because there's a Shakespeare, Shakes, Shakespeare, I just said his name, Shakespeare Theater in there. Sorry, I'm, uh, you know, I'm in the middle of a run. My mind's going crazy. I got to goo up, trying to debate on how long I'm actually going to go, because I did just get that vaccine yesterday. Probably shouldn't be doing too strenuous things. But is it ever my realm personality to be 100% logical? Not really. So, Sarah's on call. I don't assume I'll be calling her for a rescue pickup, but it'll just depend on at what point do I turn around? Because I really was supposed to put in 18 miles today. So, gotta keep going. All right, here we are. Field Museum, Shed Aquarium, Behind it, planetarium. There's a Sears Tower, Navy Pier. Those lights. I think I'm gonna end up going to the end of this this path here. You get a better view. But I'm now in the southern half of downtown Chicago. We call it the Lipstick Building. It was being built when Barack Obama got elected. Fun fact. And I need to find a bathroom around these places. There's not as many bathrooms and garbage cans as Disney World, so got to do a better job planning that out, but I drank a lot of H2O earlier. See, oh, look, at, there's a Ferris wheel on this side now. Boom. All right, here's the better view I was talking about. Sears Tower all the way over to Millennium Park. Mag Mile's over there. Navy Pier. I'm gonna attempt to go to the end of this, like, it's not a pier, but like alcove into the lake. I, as I told you guys before, also there's a thousand seagulls over there like literally can't see them on the phone but there's like a thousand on that little break wall um i'm terrified of dark vast water so this is fun to run on this is terrifying but i'd rather just see if i'm gonna take the bike this is the bike path that's the walking path and running path there's nothing stopping me from running off the edge so i'm gonna run the bike path it's also more lit be safe everybody and we're gonna see how far I can get out there before I turn around. I think this is gonna be my turning around point. I don't wanna go any further south. So I'm just using that as my excuse to not finish my 18 miles, I think, but I'm also starting to really feel it. I'm getting that body achiness again that I did last night, but not enough to, to call it quits on this run. From that last clip till just now, it's been about 200 feet. And you know what? I'm gonna call it quits. I'm turning around. I know there's definitely a lot more land than I thought because the planetary goes out, but it looks so creepy out there and plus i know right here is where the dolphins are but to know it's cool to look at during the day when you're like oh there's the dolphins giant enclosure about hundreds of thousands of gallons of water right there but i'm like so i have thousands of gallons of dark water on my right side and then the entire lake michigan on my left side no thank you i'll wait till sunrise and see that appreciate that beauty um, so I'm going to turn around, head back to museum campus. I may not take the whole lakefront back like I came down because it's getting cold and at moments there's a heavy breeze, um, heavy breeze. 
out on this lake. So just gonna turn it back. I might run through the city, but then I'll have to mask up more. Okay, I need to start running because it's been way too many minutes and now I'm cooling and getting too cold with my sweat. But I want to show you, so this is Field Museum and for my Disney people, the dino, the T-Rex that's outside, if you're walking the dinosaur at Animal Kingdom on the right hand side, you'll see a, a, a fossil, a replica fossil of a T-Rex. That's Sue. Sue is the world famous T-Rex that's in Field Museum. We're going to go there soon. It's open. We just need to get our like annual passes there. And we're going to check it out when it is. It just closes at like three. So we'll have to go on a weekend. Um, but I Googled where the closest restroom was. And I'm going into Museum Campus, closer to Michigan Avenue, Columbus Drive. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed this uh, your iPhone wasn't lying to me. All right. I'm not saying that I snuck in to Millennium Park to find a porta potty. But I will say that I. I'm not not saying I snuck into Millennium Park to find a porta potty. So I'm already in good and well now. So I didn't think I was gonna run Michigan Avenue, at least back to the Drake to get to the lakefront again. But it'll be a different change of pace. It'll be beautiful. A little bit more bobbing, weaving, waiting for lights and stuff. But who cares about the time when you're enjoying the views? Last last clip, I think, because. I just keep stopping right when they get in the stride, but I had to show you this. Come on. It's minus there's buildings. I'm at the river. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Look at here's a cool view of the apple store we always talk about. It's like say an outdoor indoor fancy apple store. Anyway, there's the lake. There's Michigan. Funny enough, it's called the Mag Mile, the Magnificent Mile, because it's a mile long from the river here to the Drake. So I at least know that mileage. Ah, beautiful, but I gotta get home. I'm, I'm over this run, <laughs> but it's been a good run, it has. Finished 16 miles, three hours, and I ended at a 7-Eleven so I could pick up some, some Gatorades and whatnot. Feel good. I had to go home and clean myself up. Oh, I am starting to hurt already. April 11th, Colin Chapman. Simplify, then add lightness. Hey, isn't that wonderful? That's like our simplification of life that was so good for us. Alrighty, I will be signing off by myself tonight. Look at this amazing print. Me and James actually took a fairly long nap um, while Peter was out running his face off. Um, but I don't know, I guess we needed it. Um, really just hung out, the two of us, he woke up. Um, I started editing today's vlog and just had a nice little cozy time. Alrighty, the weekend is over. We will see you tomorrow. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.